Hello friends, so here's the question. Do Canadians really not close their doors? Let's see. It's closed. Well, this is actually my door from home. So we're going to talk about the stereotype you heard maybe many times before that Canadians supposedly don't close their doors. Here's the thing. Actually, this stereotype is really true. Especially when we think about 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. Yeah, most Canadians didn't close their doors even in cities. Fun fact, well, because they didn't have really to be afraid of people coming into their houses because crime was really, really low. Fun fact, intruders in Canada. Most intruders in Canada in the homes are actually not humans. Mm -hmm. Most intruders are in fact brown bears, black bears and raccoons. Yep, it's true. Especially like the raccoons, they're usually up in the attic and then uh, hamstering there, like building their nest and living there so suddenly you can hear at night above your house or like inside the house something moving around this is because it's some raccoons and also you should be maybe careful about it but it happens in night you suddenly hear some noises and you're thinking oh my god it gotta be some robbers it can be first actually it happens you open the door and suddenly there's a bear in your house it does happen that is not just like in movies it does happen to some Canadians, especially if you live closer to forests and if you live like in British Columbia or even in Ontario areas, Quebec, here where I live, it's in the prairies. We don't have that many bears here, very rarely. The reason for it is very simple, because around my city, there are just cornfields, wheat fields and everything else. So it's very safe. But back to the topic. So how is it nowadays? Did it change? Was it the same? So, let's say from the beginning, 13 years ago when my family arrived here in Saskatoon, in Canada. People still, well, they close their doors mostly during the night, right? But during the day, oftentimes they were open, the doors from the cars open as well, because no one was worried. When they went to the groceries, you could see some ladies, really, or like even older ladies or younger females, open their door, keeping open and then just getting the groceries in or getting just the cart away. So the car was open the whole time. Didn't bother them. They didn't expect anyone hopping in the car and then racing away. No. And still to this day, you sometimes can see Canadians opening their door, then they get uh, quickly somewhere and door is open. Because it's still a friendly country, still uh, crime rates and everything is really low compared to other countries. So people are really friendly and have uh, no fear. The other thing is in the backyards. In the backyards, often people don't have their clo uh, doors closed. They have it open and even in the front and especially foreigners. Well, you can tell they are foreigners because the doors like in front of open and you see all the children running around. Because people, when they arrive here and new, you get the feeling of it's safe. It's beautiful, it's clean and everything. You don't have to be afraid for your children. And because there's less, less traffic, less people, less cars. So there's way less difficulties, way less problems. So as a parent, you can chill. You can be uh, really uh, laid down and don't have to worry about your children. Same thing like uh, people opening their doors and they are open just for the, like, for the dogs and cats running around. Because people don't, are afraid that some, suddenly someone is coming in through the back door. Another fact, in Canada, well at the very least I know it's my city and probably my whole uh, province, for the side door, so you see right down here, there are side doors and this side door has to be open, like you, you can just quickly open it. Uh, because city employees have to go there and read the meter for the uh, water and yeah so you like you can close it right for the wind so it does, it's not open but they can go and open it with the mechanism imagine this in america i never had a story like this in the usa that the door are kept open so for government employees can go back in your yard no way here in canada yeah because they're still and I mean, like uh, people have their children, dogs, and animals behind the uh, be in the backyard, and it's just a fact. Like at the beginning, I was like, "Oh my God, what?" I mean, it's not safe. And now, I think to worry. It's just part of living here, right? Another thing, 
at the beginning of the video, you saw me opening an outside door, right? Remember? So this outside door is very, very common here in Canada. But it's not uh, what you think, that it is maybe like to keep out people. Mm -hmm. This is mostly to keep out the winter, not the, uh, like intruders or something, like you saw. And it's also not just like, for some people think it's for having privacy, so you can just open your inner door and not talk to the people. Mm -hmm. It's also because of wildlife. Because sometimes it does happen, you open your door and suddenly there is a bear or a moose or a raccoon or something outside your door. Depending on where you live, but yeah, this can happen. So this helps again, protect you for them and not from people. The other thing is here, because we're talking about your door, uh, most intruders uh, partially often are here salespeople and charity people. Yeah, salespeople, like something you are maybe not used to in Europe, the door-to-door -door salesman here, it's still alive and well. In summertime especially, because with the time they can't go around, it's very rare. They do, but usually it's like for a snowmobile or like a snow removal or so snow removal service. So we'll come around and then just ask you things and see the people are like opening their doors and like, oh, hey, and guess what? Sales people don't have to be afraid that the door opens and suddenly someone points a gun into their face. Nah, this is Canada, doesn't happen. And the same is with charity. You see a charity, children running around asking all the people like for donations and everything or selling their candy no problem and people opening their doors there's not an issue with this so fast forward we're now in the future or like in the present right so how is it now people still keep opening the, all the doors and everything now nah, it's not completely the same of course not the same like 50 years ago our crime rate has gone up and everything but the stereotype is still partially true people still ah, lost my way Something you get used to when you watch my videos. I have a very, very bad sense of orientation. But now I know where I am. So, how is it now? Yeah, it's not the same like 50 years ago, but I mean, uh, just uh, for those people who are not from the United States, 50 years ago in the United States, many people left their, open, uh, their doors open as well, especially in the small communities. But now in Canada, in small communities, the doors are still open, some not, but it's still, I mean, just they're closing the doors. Yeah, people have uh, the alarm systems here now more often, but it's just like, you know, the, the noise that it makes. People don't own, like not everyone does uh, own a gun and suddenly point at some people uh, sticking around their houses and everything. Mm -mm. People are thinking like, oh, if there's someone close to your home, it's probably just some kids looking for football or something like this. So it's kind of still alive in Canada, but of course people are closing their doors for their cars and everything. But it's not the same like 50 years ago, but at the end of the day, it's still Canada, it's still friendly, and the people are inviting people into their homes. So I hope you enjoyed this one, and I see you on the next one. Goodbye.